Hello, my name is Pastor Lee Barnhart. I'm the Director of Spiritual Care and Special Projects for Shriver's Hospice here in Zanesville, Ohio. Today, I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about grieving over a loss of a job. Because of COVID, a lot of people are facing either decreased in hours or the complete loss of a job. And for a lot of folks, that's very devastating and difficult to get through. A lot of things associated with a loss of a job and a lot of different things and ways that people grieve. And just know that everybody grieves different. No one person grieves the same as another. So you may see some folks that are struggling and they may not grieve the way that you do, but realize that grieving is part of the process and we can do a lot to help those individuals and ourselves to get through those situations. So what effects does COVID have on individuals experiencing a job loss? Well, we always go to the first thing, uh, material loss. There's a loss of a lot of things. Believe me, I completely understand about loss. Um, and material things are just material things. I know we have a lot, we take a lot of value in them and, and we, we love to have them, but we can't allow things to have us. It's okay to have things. So material things, uh, you feel like you lost those things when you um, experience a job loss, especially during this time of COVID. Another effect is relationship loss. Now, I'm not talking about husband and wives, although that's a possibility. I'm really talking about relationships from coworkers that you had. You build friendships with them. You went and had uh, parties with them. You, you hung out together, played golf, uh, sewed together. I'm not a sewer, but maybe you sewed with your friends. Maybe you quilted. But those uh, relationships, you feel maybe uh, you may be losing them. I would encourage you, though, that even if you have had a job loss, to stay connected to those folks because they're a part of your support system to help you um, become employed once again. Um, the other one is the uh, intra-psychic loss. There's a lot of mental issues that are going on uh, that take place whenever we're grieving over the loss of a job. And... Um, the other, other piece of that is the loss of a role. I know for men, a lot of it has to do with if I don't have the job, then I can't provide for my family. And if I can't provide for my family, then I'm, the, I'm pretty much useless. I want to encourage you to not think that way. Maybe come across in a way that when you're thinking, I'm going to reframe who I am in terms of what I've done at work and I'm really going to press in and get a sense of who I really am so that I can set myself up for new employment and be ready to go when that time happens. The other, other loss is systematic. There's a systematic loss. You have a routine where you're going through day to day doing the same things. You know what your plan is when you're employed at this, at this employer. You know what's going on from day to day. Well, the job loss comes. You've got a sense of, whoa, wait a minute. I can't go do this. I usually do this. And everything changes. And so your routines change. And so I would encourage you, though, even though the, the loss of the job has taken place, please try to keep some kind of routine to help you stay in a routine apart from the, the job. But as you're looking for another job, stay close to some sort of routine and incorporate that routine. Um, there is functional loss. And a lot of folks, they just find a hole and they, they, they hide away, they isolate themselves, and they're not in a functional state because they've lost their role and they've lost their ability to bring income into the household. So that's functional loss. So how do you cope with a job loss? Well, being a person who's been there, not because of COVID, but for other reasons, health issues, that kind of thing, 
Take some time to reflect. Don't make any decisions in a split second. Back up. Take some time to reflect on where you're at. What just took place? What just happened? The why is it happened? And then begin to uh, evaluate the, uh, yourself and what has happened, what took place, and try to grow from there. The other thing we need to do is stay connected with family and friends. Sometimes when we're grieving over a loss of a job, especially with COVID, we have a tendency to hide ourselves, to isolate ourselves, to keep away from people, keep away from loved ones, keep away from families. And we have to have those folks in our lives to support us, to encourage us, to give us a sense of community because our community from the workplace has been lost in some, some respects. So that's important to do as well. Um, and minimizing stress, seek professional counsel. Sometimes we need to find the professionals to help us get through that. And I just want to let you know that that's okay. It's okay to not be okay. And you can get help, and I encourage you to do that. Another uh, thing that you can do to minimize the stress is to seek guidance from your pastor. Our faith leaders have a lot of experience, especially if they've been in the marketplace working in a job and pastoring the church. They're there as a resource. They're there as a spiritual help. They're there to help lift each of us up during the most difficult times of our lives. Why? Because they're connected to God just as well as we are but they bring a different perspective into what's going on. Uh, also, remove any guilt. Sometimes we feel guilty. What, I must have done something wrong in my life. I must have done something wrong when I was a kid. I must have done something wrong as an adult, and that's why this is happening to me. I want to encourage you not to think that way and not to have guilt over it was a difficult thing. It was a bad thing that happened. COVID come to, come to us from wherever it came from. And that's what caused the job loss. And so remove yourself from any guilt. Focus on self-care. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself mentally, spiritually, physically. Get some exercise. That's important as well. And strive for acceptance. After all, there's nothing that can be done about the loss of the job. You've lost the job and you're grieving over it. But you've got to get to the point where eventually you come to accept that. Because until that happens, you really can't move forward. So I would encourage you to do those things. Be encouraged today. The same God that provided the way for you to get the job that you had is the same God that will come and give you the resources and the connections to, to, to gain employment once again. So I want to remind you to reach out into the resources of the communities. One of the things you can reach out with out to, one of the organizations you can reach out to, is the mental health uh, resource uh, services uh, here in Muskingum County. They're a good source for uh, getting help during this time. So I would encourage you to reach out to them. Uh, and I just want to thank you for the time that you've taken to view this video.